Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here, uh, and to this video today, we're going to be looking at this new spotted marsh frog tank that I've recently set up. Now, if you see the light flickering at sometimes, ignore that. The light does do that. I need to replace the starter. Um, but obviously, I have the light on here since there are live plants. Uh, the light is necessary. So I just put up with the flickering. Doesn't affect the animals, doesn't affect the plants. But we will get that fixed here uh, in the short future. So this is how the tank's set up. Very simple, very basic. Live plants. Uh, nothing in there is fake uh, plant-wise. Um, hopefully, the light doesn't bother you guys too much. Alrighty, so let's jump into it. So we're probably going to struggle to find some of the frogs. They're all going to be hiding. So there is 11 in here. Now I do have both uh, albino and normal uh, spotted marsh frogs. So we'll have a hunt around, but basically I'll go over it. So water's a source. Um, half the tank is basically water or probably about roughly a little bit more than uh, a third of the tank is water. We have a few different things. So we've got Slovenia minia, uh, which is a floating plant, uh, little bits of duckweed, and we have some cardamine um, in there as well. Uh, and this is another type of cardamine as well, which has grown up and out of the water, which I really like. Um, we have uh, a root piece in there as well. So that's that there. Uh, there are little bits of elodia which is another aquatic plant, just to fill in the stuff and give the tadpoles areas to hide. And I've also just realized that right here, we happen to have one of the albino marsh frogs. Oh, and there's a chunk of java fern in here as well. Okay, he just ran off, we'll find another one. Um, so yeah, so some java fern and stuff like that. Now we have lots of live fern, as well, uh, lots of live moss as well. So these are bits that I've collected from different places. This bit's on a log. This is a really nice moss that I really like. Oh. <laughs> There's another albino spotted marsh frog. Um, this is a really nice piece here. I really like this one. Um, not entirely sure on the type of moss. But it's growing its little spores, which means it's going to reproduce, uh, and it's on a piece of log. So that sits here in hopes that that little bit, actually, you know what, we're even going to take that off and, uh, and attach that down here. And that will grow onto there. Brilliant. Um, okay, so we've seen two of the 11 frogs so far. Um, so that's nine more to find, which we're not going to find in this video. Anyway, back to the plants. We've got a few other um, rushes. This one's not doing too well. This is a variegated um, rush. Again, don't know the full names, unfortunately, um, but some rushes here, and we've got some little clippings of pythos as well, uh, pythos, however you want to say it, which I've uh, planted in here too. Again, there's the cardamine back there, which is growing well. Um, now, let's have a look. Alrighty, so <laughs> here we have the big mama. There goes one of the little tiny ones. This is one of the larger albino marsh frogs that we have here. Um, beautiful. I really like them. So they're not for everyone. A lot of people actually don't like them. But um, personally, I do very much so like them. Do a bit of a zoom there. But uh, you can see the red eyes, white skin. I'm going to have to move you, buddy, so I can put the, uh, the thing back down. That's probably a good shot right there. Hmm, where are all the other guys? Uh, so we've got a bit of live sphagnum moss in there as well. Okay, here are two other ones. Now this one here is kind of interesting. This one has more of a, um, a gray tone to it. Uh, it's not entirely white like the other ones. So that's pretty interesting. This is uh, a little tiny, tiny tucker, a new sort of born one. I'm trying to find one of the, the regular ones to show you one of the, the normal. Ah, oh, shrugs, here we go. Here's the one, whoops. Take that out for two seconds. Okay, so here's one here. Um, this is one of the lighter ones in my bunch. And then up under here, we have another one. Oh, geez. Focus on the frog. That fella there, he's up in the, hiding up away. Um, but yeah, so basically this has been set out like this. I have a few bits of, there we go, there's a, oh, he's going back in, never mind. So a few bits of bark, which they basically hide under. 
Um, obviously moss, this gets sprayed down, all the moss that's near the edges of the water is going to grow a bit better. Here's some more Java, Java moss. Um, so yeah, all these mosses, that stuff needs a bit of a spray, fake background obviously. Um, yeah, I mean pretty simple, nothing too fancy, sort of bob it on a little bit in this video. But yeah, the pothos will go in, the cardamine grows in. Um, hopefully when they start to uh, reproduce a little bit more, unfortunately in the current other setups that we've had previously on these species, the um, tadpoles and the eggs never actually did too well. So hopefully with this one, lots of coverage and stuff like that. There's multiple uh, of each, each different gender. Hopefully we'll see how it goes and hopefully we'll get some more babies. But um, that will do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.